So in my last video, I talked about Camtasia and how it works on M1 and kind of the upgrades that I liked and didn't like. Now, they today released the M1 optimized version, which hopefully means we get better performance, uh, more stability, although it's really stable already, uh, and just uh, some overall enhancements for the M1 chip. Let's take a look. So I've been working on my review of the Mac Mini M1, which I'm currently using to edit and make this, uh, but I've been working on this thing. It's about just under 10 minutes long or so, and it's shot all in 4K. So this is all 4K video going through, and I'm outputting to 1080p because that's what I like to do. So I ran this through with the original 2021 Camtasia before it was optimized, and then I downloaded it and updated it to get the M1 optimized version, and I compared the times. Again, this is not a super heavy stress test, it's not a super long video or anything, but there's some decent footage that's going through, and my Sony camera has lots of uh, things it crunches through. So let's take a look at the results here. And as you can see, the M1 optimized comes out at four minutes. It's less than half of real time, which is just awesome. Rosetta didn't do bad at all, it was four minutes and 29 seconds. So we're gonna say there's roughly a 30 second difference there, uh, which equates to about 12% better performance for the M1 optimized version over the previous version. So that's a big win, 12% of your time is, is a big deal, especially when it comes to exporting and doing things. And uh, I, I've done a few other tests here. The, the results are pretty regular with this. It's, it's what it is. Uh, it's right around the 12 to 15, sometimes dipping down as far as 10%. But even still, regardless, you're getting a 10% bump at a minimum just by downloading a new version. It doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't mean anything. It's just, boom, you have it and it's ready to go. Uh, so this is a big, big win. I'm very happy. So as you can see, it did what we hoped it would. The export times are faster by a good percentage and uh, I haven't had any stability issues. Again, it's only been today, uh, but in general, uh, I've been really happy with Camtasia over the past few releases because the stability on my machines has been excellent. And uh, this one just kind of keeps following through with that. So I'm a happy camper. I'm really excited that uh, we have an M1 optimized version and that uh, I get to enjoy quicker export times. I'll catch you in our next one.